Good morning guys. Welcome to Ensenada. We drove up from Puerto Montt where you saw us in the last video and now we've arrived right in the middle of these two massive volcanoes. You can see there's one of them in the background and uh, there's another one over there. I'm going to get the drone up in a very short second. I'm going to show you this kind of scene. We're going to jump in the car after that, go to the, the bottom of the volcano, see what we can come across. We've rented a little cabin here. I'll give you a tour of the cabin later. Beautiful little cabin in the woods. Enough talking, get the drone up, have a look around this area, and then we'll meet you at the volcano. I know it's quite windy, so excuse a bit of the rattling noise with the microphone if you hear it, but we have made it to the top of this. Well, not to the top. I'll show you in a minute. The volcano's just over in this direction. But look at this view. This is truly epic. Driving through some crazy landscapes on the way here. Now we've made it to where we want to be. We're going to go for a little walk up the volcano in a second. The volcano's name is Orsano, or Volcan Orsano in Espanol, in Spanish. It's just over 2,600 meters in elevation, so she's pretty Pretty high. Without any more talking, let's go for a little bit of a walk and uh, see what views we can get. I don't know if you can hear me right now, it's extremely windy, uh, but I've, we've walked up, I don't know, quite a while. I'll show you in a second how far we've come. Uh, but look at this, this is the volcano up here, guys. And uh, have a look at this view. Pretty stunning little location here. We're gonna continue walking, uh, see how far we can get. But so far, incredible. Chili, you are amazing so epic true word true i know i say epic a lot in my videos and i will continue to do so but i think this is probably one of the most relevant places to use the word epic so anyway check this out look at this so that's the top of the volcano you come around the cliff edge here let me zoom out that's a big cliff there anyway let's continue walking up this mad mountain here We have uh, come up to a point here and there's a monument uh, and it's got like a list of names with R.I.P. written under it from 1987 uh, and at this stage at this stage you can see like up the hill here there's full-blown snow and you can see uh, like the uh, avalanche kind of cracks I'll zoom in on them in a minute but it's just not really uh, ideal to continue on without the proper gear you can see I'm in like little shorts and things so uh, we'll leave it for today, but still an epic hike. We've come up to a pretty good altitude. Probably above 2,000 meters, I would say we are. The summit being over 2,600, so I think we're definitely over 2,000 in my estimate. We're gonna head down now, 
but uh, I'll show you some a few clips. I'll zoom in in a minute of the uh, the avalanche cracks, and that should give you a pretty good. Uh, you know, reason why we're not continuing on to the summit. I, I already knew we wouldn't make it to the summit because I looked it up online and you need guides and like crampons and things, well at least crampons and uh, ice axes and stuff, it's pretty extreme. Have a look in the background. You can see that's the and Andes mountain range there in the very background. That's the second highest mountain range in the world to none other than the Himalayas. So epic location, so cool to see these. So check out these cracks, which is like an avalanche waiting to happen in the snow up here. It's just uh, pretty mad as you can see here. So yeah, we'll head down now. Where did you find that? I just ripped my uh, just there. The little cabin, man. You found that in a cabin. Yeah. That was so extreme. You're going like 60 kilometers an hour at least. I was free. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the little hut where Joe found that little blow-up tube. See, look. There's a whole heap of them here, and there's sleds and a little <laughs> cooking stove there. Um, yeah, it's just open right now with all this stuff in it. Welcome to the crib. So this is our little cabin. It's the following day. Hope you enjoyed those uh, sunset drone clips and the uh, messing around up on the uh, mountain there. A really fun day as you can see. Uh, this is our little cabin. We're leaving now but I just want to show you it. Uh, give you a little quick tour. So, so this is the uh, cabin here and it's uh, it's kind of quirky, it's kind of stylish, but at the same time it's like kind of unfinished. But I guess that's kind of cool in a way. A little like mock-up kitchen here and uh, we've got a uh, like volcano rock uh, this is super dangerous so I like ruined my foot on this uh, living area fridge that's the back door there bedroom and would you look at that view that's another volcano out there bathroom and and that's bedroom number two. We're gonna jump on the road now, guys, and we're heading to another city called, what's the name, Joe? Valvidia. Valvidia. Va Valdivia. Valdivia. We're going to a city kind of on the coast, three hour or so drive, so we'll head there now. So much room for activities. Oh. Hey Dale, I forgot to say. Do you like guacamole? Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. Do you like guacamole? 
So we have arrived in our little cabin here. You can see we got the bunk beds back there. So much room for activities around here. And there's another room there and a little garden. I'll give you a tour in just a second. But before I give you the tour, I just want to take a quick second out to talk about the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of this video again is Skillshare. You guys know Skillshare well by now. They've been supporting the channel for a long time and I imagine they will continue to do so and uh, keep these travels going as well as offering you guys, my audience, something that I think is very valuable. Skillshare, if you don't know, is an online learning community with thousands of online classes. You can learn everything from like what I do, like editing, vlogging. You can learn languages, you can learn business, a very broad spectrum of like different things you can learn, especially with things like creativity and becoming a stronger version of yourself. That's why I love pairing up with Skillshare. I feel it is a really valuable sponsor. So today, Skillshare and I are offering the first 500 people who click the link below two months free of the Skillshare Skillshare premium membership. Click that link if you want to uh, learn something new. Another huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring the channel, keeping the travels going as per usual. Anyway, let's have a look at that tour. So this is the main room here, and there's the uh, infamous bunk beds. There's Joe up top. Hello. <laughs> and uh, there's the backyard there. I'll take you out in a sec. Through here we've got a little kitchen, everything you need, and more. Bathroom and master bedroom. So you can have like heaps of people to stay here if you want to. Backyard here, nice little like sheltered outdoor table, some kind of a barbecue over there. And then here's the backyard. So far in Chile, we've been using nothing but Airbnb. So that was just a bit of a driving day that you saw. On the drive here, we came to a bridge. Google Maps said, just keep going. And we get to the bridge and we slowly start to see all this construction and things. We drive up to the edge and the bridge is just completely gone. So we had to take a huge detour, went down around all these like dirt roads and things. And anyway, we made it in the end to our sweet little cabin here. That's the coolest story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Can I hear it again? I hope you enjoyed that video guys. It was so much fun. The volcano walk was really a highlight. You know, just to get in the mountains again, especially down these ways in uh, Chile. Truly epic to see those mountains in uh, real life, you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.